Why Allah after saving Prophet Jesus from being killed and crucified according to Islam and raising him to the heavens replace him with someone and made him look like Prophet Jesus? How is this justice for Christians who think that the one who was killed on the cross is Jesus? Would not that create deception and the false impression made by Allah for Christians and make them believe that their current belief now that Jesus is the one who was crucified? How fair is that for Christians? How can Allah do that or allow that and then judge Christians after making the person you are that was crucified look like Jesus? This is your answer, that they said, in boast, we killed Christ Jesus the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, but so it was made to appear to them, and those who differ therein are full of doubts, with no, certain, knowledge, but only conjecture to follow, for of a surety they killed him not Quran, 4-157, Introduction, First, you must understand that when Allah exalted, he made someone look like Prophet Jesus, that the change in the facial features of that person who was made to make look like Prophet Jesus happened after the enemies of Prophet Jesus were searching for houses, villages, and areas looking for him and wanting to arrest him to kill him by crucifixion. This means Allah exalted he decided to make the substitute person look like Prophet Jesus is a solution to save his Prophet from his enemies and a response to hostilities of enemies of Allah exalted he towards his slave Prophet Jesus. So, Allah exalted he did not make the substitute equals replacement person look like Prophet Jesus before any death threats to his Prophet Jesus. Also, once Prophet Jesus was saved from death by crucifixion as his enemies wished and after he raised to heavens, the need for a substitute and replacement person to look like Prophet Jesus starts to be important for the following reasons. Dash once enemies of Prophet Jesus catch someone and kill him by crucifixion thinking he is Prophet Jesus. This will close the case and chase. Imagine if they did not kill someone, they thought of him to be Prophet Jesus? They would be searching through villages and looting, causing huge destruction to buildings, and killing entire families and villages to try to search for the missing Prophet Jesus. There are two opinions about the substitute person who was crucified instead of Prophet Jesus and look like Jesus. One, the first opinion believes that Judas Iscariot was made to look like Prophet Jesus as a punishment for his attempt to betray Prophet Jesus and to tell Jews about Prophet Jesus' location. 2. The second opinion is that the person who was crucified is one of Prophet Jesus' good followers who voluntarily choose to look like Prophet Jesus so Prophet Jesus would avoid the arrest and be killed by crucifixion at the hands of his enemies. Muslim scholars are leaning towards this opinion, Ibn Abi Hatim recorded that Ibn Abbas said, Just before Allah raised Isa, Jesus, to the heavens, Isa went to his companions, who were twelve inside the house. When he arrived, his hair was dripping water and he said, There are those among you who will disbelieve in me twelve times after he had believed in me. He then asked, who volunteers that his image appears as mine, and be killed in my place. He will be with me, in paradise. Additionally, early Christians of the first century knew for a fact that Prophet Jesus is going to be saved by Allah exalted he as he told them. That is why as per the Islamic view, Prophet Jesus held several consecutive meetings on daily basis with his followers before being saved and ascended to the heavens safe and well by his soul and body. Islamic view on who was crucified Ibn Kathir view story of Jesus, the misunderstanding of crucifixion, in his tafsir Ibn Kathir has elaborated on who was put on the cross in the following words, the people conspiring against Jesus, envied him because of his prophethood and obvious miracles, curing the blind and leprous and bringing the dead back to life, by Allah's leave. He also used to make the shape of a bird from clay and blow in it, and it became a bird by Allah's leave and flew. Isa performed other miracles that Allah honored him with, yet some defied and belied him and tried their best to harm him. Allah's prophet Isa could not live in any one city for long and he had to travel often with his mother, peace be upon them. Even so, some of the Jews were not satisfied, and they went to the king of Damascus at that time, a Greek polytheist who worshipped the stars. They told him that there was a man in Beit al makdis misguiding and dividing the people in Jerusalem and stirring unrest among the king's subjects. The king became angry and wrote to his deputy in Jerusalem to arrest the rebel leader, stop him from causing unrest, crucify him and make him wear a crown of thorns. When the king's deputy in Jerusalem received these orders, he went with some Jews to the house that Isa was residing in, and he was then with 12, 13, or 17 of his companions. That day was a Friday, in the evening. They surrounded Isa in the house, and when he felt that they would soon enter the house or that he would sooner or later have to leave it, he said to his companions, who volunteers to be made to look like me, for which he will be my companion in paradise. A young man volunteered, but Isa thought that he was too young. He asked the question a second and third time, each time the young man volunteered, prompting Isa to say, well then, you will be that man. Allah made the young man look exactly like Isa, while a hole opened in the roof of the house, and Isa was made to sleep and ascended to heaven while asleep. Allah said, O oh Isa, I will take you and raise you to myself. When Isa ascended, those who were in the house came out. When those surrounding the house saw the man who looked like Isa, they thought that he was Isa. So they took him at night, crucified him, and placed a crown of thorns on his head. They then boasted that they killed Isa and some Christians accepted their false claim, due to their ignorance and lack of reason. As for those who were in the house with Isa, witnessed his ascension to heaven, while the rest thought that the Jews killed Isa by crucifixion.
They even said that Miriam sat under the corpse of the crucified man and cried, and they say that the dead man spoke to her. All this was a test from Allah for his servants out of his wisdom. Allah explained this matter in the glorious Quran which he sent to his honorable messenger, whom he supported with miracles and clear, unequivocal evidence. Allah is the most truthful, and he is the Lord of the worlds who knows the secrets, what the hearts conceal, the hidden matters in heaven and earth, what has occurred, what will occur, and what would occur if it was decreed, Kathir I, Tafsir Ibn Kathir. At another place in his Tafsir, Ibn Kathir narrates the same story and links it to Muslims, Ibn Abi Hatim recorded that Ibn Abbas said, just before Allah raised Isa, Jesus, to the heavens, Isa went to his companions, who were twelve inside the house. When he arrived, his hair was dripping water and he said, there are those among you who will disbelieve in me twelve times after he had believed in me. He then asked, who volunteers that his image appears as mine, and be killed in my place? He will be with me, in paradise. One of the youngest ones among them volunteered and Isa asked him to sit down. Isa, Jesus, again asked for a volunteer, and a young man kept volunteering, and Isa asked him to sit down. Then the young man volunteered again and Isa, Jesus, said, You will be that man, and the resemblance of Isa was cast over that man while Isa ascended to heaven from a hole in the house. When the Jews came looking for Isa, they found that young man and crucified him. Some of Isa's, Jesus, followers disbelieved in him twelve times after they had believed in him. They then divided into three groups. One group, al yaqbiyah Jacobites, said, Allah remained with us as long as he willed and then ascended to heaven. Another group, a Nesturia, Nestorians, said, the son of Allah was with us as long as he willed and Allah took him to heaven. Another group, Muslims, said, the servant and messenger of Allah remained with us as long as Allah willed, and Allah then took him to him. The two disbelieving groups cooperated against the Muslim group and they killed them. Ever since that happened, Islam was then veiled until Allah sent Muhammad. This statement has an authentic chain of narration leading to Ibn Abbas, and an Nisai narrated it through Abu Quraib who reported it from Abu Muawiyah, Kathir I, Tafsir ibn Kathir, p. 771. Summary, early followers of Prophet Jesus and early century knew that he was a 100% human prophet and that he was born from a miraculous virgin birth and that he will be saved from crucifixion and will be raised to heavens and saved by Allah exalted he and he will return before the judgment day one of the pre-judgment day signs. Allah knows best.